Which terminal emulator is better ghosty or Westerm? Westerm is kind of the powerhouse terminal. It's cross-platform, so whether you're on Mac OS, Linux, or even Windows, it just works the same way everywhere. It's super customizable. The whole config is done in Lua, which means you can script it to behave exactly how you want. Some people love that because you can basically turn your terminal into a tailored tool, but if you're not into editing config files, it can feel a bit heavy. One of its big strengths is that it has a built-in multiplexer, so you don't need to mux to split panes, make tabs, or manage sessions. It's also really smooth when it comes to rendering. Ligatures, emojis, kitty graphics, even images all work. A lot of folks describe it as feature complete. If you can imagine a terminal feature, chances are Westerm already has it. The flip side is that it doesn't feel very native on macOS or Linux. It looks the same everywhere, which is consistent but not always pretty. Ghosty is kind of the opposite philosophy. Instead of trying to do everything, it aims to be fast, lightweight, and feel like it belongs on your system. On macOS, it uses Swift UI so it looks and behaves like a Mac app. On Linux, it uses GTK, so it blends in there. It's GPU accelerated too, so it's really snappy, but the big difference is how little you need to set up. The defaults are nice right out of the box, so you can just open it and go. It still supports modern features like Kitty's graphics protocol, hyperlinks, and theming so it's not bare bones, but it doesn't have the crazy multiplexer or scripting flexibility that Westerm does. The appeal is more in its simplicity and native feel. People who don't want to tinker endlessly with settings often prefer Ghosty, while folks who love tweaking every detail tend to lean toward Westerm.